Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. Saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my song. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, brother. What a beautiful hymn, Sing to the Mountain. I know we cannot sing because we have a mask, but we can hum it inside our hearts prayerfully. We offer this mass for the repose soul of Annie, Joseph, Francis, Carmina, Henry, Jenny, Titus, Adolf, Mariama, Serapo, Lily, Teresa, Mario, Arthur. Bista, Aurora, E.J., Jacob, Mary, Jacob, Fatima, Hilda, Robert, Evelyn, Elsama, Vivian, Eduardo, Mascarenas family, Purificação, Oliveira family, Fernandez family, Fro, Del, Lisa, Eusebio, Johnny, Elizabeth, Souls in Purgatory, and Jovita. In a special way, we pray for the people who are suffering in Afghanistan. Let us keep them in our prayer and our rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today's reading is focused on one word, epertha means be opened. Let us ask Jesus to open our eyes, our hearts, and our ears that we may be docile to the Holy Spirit, that we may be attentive, listening what is happening around us, in the world, and within us, and follow the voice of Jesus. I confess to Almighty God, to my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask as Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Say to all faint hearts, courage, do not be afraid. Look, your God is coming. Vengeance is coming. The retribution of God, he is coming to save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, the ears of the deaf unsealed, and the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongues of dumb sing for joy, for water gushes in the desert, streams in the wasteland, the scorched earth becomes a lake, the parched land springs of water. The word of the Lord. My soul, give praise to the Lord. It is the Lord who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. It is the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down the Lord who loves the just, the Lord who protects the stranger. The Lord upholds the widow and orphan, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers, 
do not try to combine faith in Jesus Christ, our glorified Lord, with the making of distinctions between classes of people. Now, suppose a man comes into your synagogue, beautifully dressed and with a gold ring on, and at the same time, a poor man comes in, in shabby clothes, and you take notice of the well-dressed man and say, come this way to the best seats. Then you tell the poor man, stand over there, or you can sit on the floor by my footrest. Can't you see that you have used two different standards in your mind and turned yourselves into judges and corrupt judges at that? Listen, my dear brothers, it was those who were poor according to the world that God chose to be rich in faith and to be the heirs to the kingdom which he promised to those who love him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All rise for the gospel acclamation. taken from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Returning from the district of Tyre, Jesus went by of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee, right through the Diacopolis region. And they brought him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech. And they asked him to lay his hands on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, put his fingers in the man's ear and touched his tongue with spittle. Then looking up to heaven, he signed and he said to him, Epetha, that is, be opened. And his ears were open, and the ligament of his tongue were loosened and he spoke clearly. And Jesus ordered them to tell no one about it. But the more he insisted, the more widely they published it. Their admiration was unbounded. He has done all things well. They said, he makes the deaf hear and the dumb speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Epertha is an Aramaic word which means be opened. The church celebrates Epertha. It might help us today to open the various areas of our life. Whisper the word Epertha. In what sense? Be open my eyes that I may see the beautiful creation that God has created. Admire God's creation. If you have time, see the beautiful movie, Brother Sun, Sister Moon, admiring God's nature. Be open my ears, the two faculties, that we may listen to the symphony of nature, singing of the birds, perhaps in this part of the world, we don't have, but we have some birds singing. And so you be one with nature. And there's a beautiful movie worth seeing, Sound of Music. 
how it brings together the symphony because music my dear people is a language of love for all cultures no matter where you come from and we as priest begin our prayer the breviary lord open my lips and i may declare the wonder of your truth in the breviary so praise be his name fall in love singing the psalms of david speak lord your servant is listening i am reminded of my ministry when i was a deacon in st peter's bandra because you know before you become a priest you are placed in a parish for the final test test and so my ministry was baptism and death everyone was born i had to baptize and death once it so happened there was a priest there a very holy priest may his soul rest in peace from spain igualaba his name was father comas his room was next to me i used to always wonder most of the priest go to him for confession most of the parishioners is to go to him for confession and i asked him father comas what is your secret that people are attracted even the priest to go to you for confession and he said brother michael you know my here i am deaf in one ear i cannot hear how true my dear people priest have to keep listening and listening mostly from the left and the ear goes deaf not because of the sins but because we are human like you we are human then we are priest pope benedict the 16 puts that beautifully god became man so that man may inwardly deaf and dumb by sin would be able to hear the voice of god the voice of god speaking to his heart and learn to speak the language of love language of love that is what in the present scenario in the world today pope francis puts that beautifully tutti fratelli the world my dear people is one family no matter which religion you come what culture you you come from what background you have what tradition we are one family and so most of us think that blindness and deafness is a is a impediment take the beautiful example of helen keller is a beautiful inspiration and a model she was she was a nurse but she took care and she says that deafness blind and deaf considered a great handicap but from that handicap god works beautifully and so what is the purpose of jesus coming in the world today he came incarnate god becoming man to liberate people from enslavement of sin and evil and to the church my dear people is empowering lay people that is common priesthood like you to be his hands and feet it's not only the priest and the nuns are called to proclaim the good news you are the good news because you are consecrated at the time of your baptism and confirmation common priesthood and so let us open and tell why did jesus heal the deaf and the dumb man what is the reason diakopolis that's the 10 region why did he restore his speech the answer is found in today's first reading prophet isaiah the eyes of the blind shall be open the ears of the deaf unseal lame shall walk like the deer and the tongue and the dumb shall sing the praises of god 
it's prophesied by Isaiah, fulfilled in the New Testament in the person of Jesus. Wonderful. Many of us may think we are not deaf and dumb, including myself as a priest. I am deaf and dumb, spiritually. Physically I can hear, but I am deaf and dumb. I don't know about you. So don't be shy, my dear people, of four things important in this world. What are the four things? The clothes you wear. Don't try to wear clothes to impress people. That will not define your talent. Be proud of poor friends. That's what Jesus said. Preferential option for the poor. Anavim, in the Old Testament, the cry of the poor. And so, important, my dear people, because that is not status in friendship. In the second reading, rich man, the poor man, comes to you. Whom would you admire? Men dressed in suit and, and tie, or a person with shabby clothes? If you have judged, you have made a distinction between rich and poor. Very important. Third, old parents. Because what you are today is because of them. Don't neglect them. Perhaps they cannot see or they cannot hear. You talk to them, you become impatient because the faculty of hearing is not there. And so you, you try to understand them. Hold their hands. Be with them. That's the best language. However, we too will become one day old. I reminded of the story of the green leaves and the dry leaves. You know, the dry leaves fall down. And then green leaves from the top is saying, Oh, you're useless. The wind will come, you'll be blown out. And the dry leaves look at the green leaves and say gently and politely, your time will come. Same it is with us, my dear people. We are in the process of sanctification and purification. Let us not judge. Fourth, simple lifestyle. The best success can't be judged by appearance, but patience. If you want to survive in the Arab world, three words, same time repeated, same word. Patience, patience, patience. If you lose your patience, your blood pressure is up and you become patient in the hospital. That's what I've learned in my journey. You have to. Lord, give me the grace to be patient, to be compassionate, to come out of myself, understand the feelings of others. And well, that is what we see in the monkey. I don't know the story of the monkey in Indian culture. Speak no evil. See no evil, hear no evil, do no evil. And so spend quality time in prayer. What is quality time in prayer? I speak, Jesus listen. Jesus speak, I listen. We neither speak, neither listen. Silence. Wow. In that silence, indwelling of the Holy Spirit is there. And so I propose to you the mantra prayer. You know, it's a formula prayer, simple prayer. Abba, Father, have mercy on me. Silently and prayerfully repeat it for all the wrong that you have done. Finish one minute is over. And the second minute, Jesus, wash me with your 
precious blood because the blood has power jesus has purchased us with the precious blood on the cross it's not the animal blood he paid a price for you and me every time you look at the cross and say jesus wash me with your precious blood and third very important neglected person holy spirit what do you what do you do with the holy spirit holy spirit comfort me holy spirit comfort me holy spirit comfort me in this moment of trial losing my job i have no one to speak marital problems comfort me pandemic time i have nowhere to go comfort me and that is what the trinity every time we begin the mass we begin with the sign of the cross earlier we used to put the finger on the holy water to remind us of our baptism and the priest towards the end he blesses you and that's what it is it's a powerful prayer a trinity every time you have the food before you be it a breakfast lunch or supper make the sign of the cross it sanctifies the food lord has given us tools prayerfully read the psalms don't forget to read c c c you know what is that catechism of the catholic church beautiful explanation most very important family prays together stays together holy rosary we have begun novena preparing ourselves for the feast of walankani our lady of good health may she grant you good health blessing for your family and loved ones amen kindly stand we profess our faith i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen concerned people brought those in need to jesus and that he might heal and save them let us bring before him today the miseries and needs of the people and say lord hear the voice of your people lord, lord hear, hear the voice of your people for the pope the bishops the clergy and the religious that model on the example of christ that they may not only love the poor and care for them but speak out with courage when they are trampled upon we pray lord hear the voice of your people we pray for the rulers and people of uae for welcoming us into this country that the lord may protect them grant them wisdom good health and benevolence we pray lord hear the voice of your people for the differently able like the blind the deaf the dumb and the lame that they may be shown respect and given opportunities for education and employment we pray lord hear the voice of your people for the elderly who with age can become less seeing less hearing and slow in speaking that they may never be little 
but be encouraged and appreciated, we pray. Lord, hear the voice of your people. For all of us that our empty hearts may become spacious and generous, like open doors to all people and all needs, we pray. Lord, hear the voice of your people. Let us pray for our personal needs. Lord Jesus Christ, you took upon yourself the burden of all people. Help us to carry one another as a burden that is light because we are your brothers and sisters. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Look, look upon our offerings, look within our hearts, Lord, accept our everything, make us one with you, here in this last song, we find our brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We really lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, a duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we do not experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possesses the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit to whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we proclaim. Yes. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into the one Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be the co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, anxiety, worry, and tension of daily life as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Church announcement, Missionary Families of Christ, Christian Life Seminar. The seminar is to lead participants to the renewed understanding and response to God's call as Christian. Details on the Filipino community website, www.smcfilipino.com. Call to Love, Retreat for Young married couples every Friday from 10 September to 15 October 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. For more information, please see the church website. Shepherd's Lamb Chorale, currently looking for sing singers, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. For those interested, see the church website. 
The church website is www.stmarysdubai.org. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. All together we say the prayer of mercy. Yes. 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 The dangerous spread of the fatal coronavirus across the world has unsettled the world in all aspects of life. We are in fear, misery and pain. We implore you, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, we trust in you. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. You are our God, our Defender, our Protector and Healer. Keep us safe from all threats of hidden dangers and deadly diseases. We pray that nobody will be affected anymore by this deadly virus and all who are affected will be healed by the merits of the passion, death and resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have everything when you have Christ. You have everything when you have Christ. You are filled with God through your union, through your union with Christ. He is the highest ruler with authority over every other part. He is the highest ruler over every other part. You have everything when you have Christ. You have everything when you have Christ. You are filled with God through your union, through your union with Christ. Thank you for coming and have a blessed day.